Buddy, do you reckon you could beat out Conor McGregor in a fight? Boy, do you reckon Daddy's going to win his last fight? Nice, thanks. It is a little bit weirder this week because there's a lot of lasts. But I'm, like I say, I'm trying to block that out because at the end of the day, I'm not retired yet. I'm still an active fighter, so I need to make sure my mindset's in the right place for Saturday night. I feel mixed emotions about it. That being the last time, it's still Brad kind of performing in his world and doing what he does best. And, it, you know, I'm never prouder of him than, I, than watching him in there. So I feel sad that we're not going to get to do that again. I will be an emotional wreck, 100%. Win, lose, draw. I don't even think the outcome of the fight is going to matter. It's just the outcome of the end of my career. It wasn't coincidence that I'm retiring in London. I made sure this happened. I knew that's where I want to have my gloves up in my hometown. And uh, we're here now. It's like four days away. So close. Thank you, though. Uh, we just got here today. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. good. His name's Marlon Vera, and I'm fighting him. I was supposed to be fighting a guy called um, Henry Briones. I've been matched with him three times before. He kept on getting injured. He took the fight, so I'm grateful he came in here, and I'm happy that he helped me save my retirement in the fight, you know. Buddy, do you reckon you could beat up Jimmy Manor in a fight? Yes. He's got me on really fit right now, you know. <laughs> so I'm peaking, I peaked. How's it going? Good to see you, sir. I wait to the, the end, and then I, because it's my last fight, I come back and give him the violin and say, look, can I have some extra stuff? Those are these ones? I'd love if I could get another pair of those. Thank you. Good night, Bob, mate. Oh, it's like that now, is it? I have no regrets throughout my career, you know. I don't live in the past. I don't want to be that woulda, shoulda, coulda. That's why I've done everything I possibly could within my career to try to be the number one in the world. I didn't hit it, but it wasn't for the one to try it. So I have no regrets at all. You know? For me, of course, the, the win matters. I, I, I need to win. You know, it's just a nice closure to my book. But I definitely, definitely would like to be in, in, involved in an exciting fight. It's just my style. I, I like being in a fight, taking punishment to give punishment. It's a dumb way of fighting, but like I say, if you're going to be dumb, you better be tough, you know, and I'm definitely tough. Boba Fett's sick. This is my uh, older brother, older brother Russell. It's not always that obvious, that's why he has to make a point about it. I'm a massive Star Wars fan, so I understand I'm going to be here and I'm really looking forward to it. On my stag deal, I went to Bournemouth and I was Darth Vader and all of my friends were stormtroopers. We went into this one pub and there was like 40 of us dressed as stormtroopers and every stormtrooper come down in single file and was getting cheers and the cheers were getting louder the more stormtroopers were coming down and then literally right at the end down comes this mini Darth Vader and everybody just went whoa and like just erupted oh my god I want to buy that Yoda reminds me of my dad in a lot of ways. He was small and wise, you know. There he is, old Sidley Wicket. <laughs> What's that value, that? It's just under hundred million dollars. Oof! So if I paid cash, what are we saying? <laughs> <laughs>It was a tough decision, it wasn't made easily, but I think it's the correct one to do, and my journey's come to an end. Hi everyone, Brad One Punch Pick here. I've been overwhelmed by the support from you guys, and like I say, I call you guys fans, but you're not, you're, you're basically your friends to me. The support you guys are showing has been very overwhelming, so God bless, thanks guys. Brad has been through the mill, he's had a lot of fights, but yet he's in this amazing position where not only does he get to leave on his own terms, he gets to do it in his hometown. When I think about Brad Pickett, the first thing I think about is just a guy that's going to get in a fight. You know what I mean? Win or lose, 
you're gonna get a scrap, 15 minutes, 25 minutes, whatever it is, you know that that slot on that card is going to be fun. Everybody likes Brad. There's no pretentiousness to him. There's not really any trash talking. He's just here to fight. He's here to compete and to have a good time. And that's why the fans love him. The hole that he'll leave in the sport as a competitor, he will make up for in the fighters that he'll help in the future. If we can filter that knowledge and experience down into 10 fighters, we're gonna have 10 great fighters coming out of the UK that Brad has brought up. And that's even more special than leaving a legacy in the octagon like he has done. Scaffolded over the road, right? Yeah. One of them's a proper fan. Yeah, okay. So I said, <laughs> I said, when we finish filming, he can come yeah. and have a photo, right? Of course. Top man, good luck. Enjoy Make sure you back. finish on a W, yeah, mate? I will do, mate. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Not many people get to be close to a fighter when they go into the final day of their weight cut, but you really admire and respect what these guys do. It's a funny thing to watch your little brother go through, but at the same time, you know he's doing it because he loves what he does. I don't really worry about getting hurt. It's never a concern, it's more about him losing. And that's the only reason I get emotional, because I know that he's gutted, because he feels he's let people down, where I know people don't, really, people don't really care. They're there for Brad no matter what. Distractions, you know, cutting weight and all that sort of stuff. But now that's done, now it's just about rehydrating and eating and uh, getting a good night's sleep, and then tomorrow's fun. So we gathered some messages of support and made something for your final party. Oh, really? Uh, so we've got your paper that you walk out with, uh, and we framed it, and uh, we've got some messages there. It's one from Sean, from Dana, from your brother, from teammates. Uh, and then we also made some for you to walk out with, so you can walk out with it tomorrow night. Oh, amazing. And the inside's full of fan support and everything. So we just wanted to say thank you. Oh, thanks, guys. I have no speech. I have no speech. Thank you, yeah. yeah. I was getting emotional as well. I was trying not to get emotional this week. But thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Yeah, it's very, very emotional. A uh, lot of memories, a lot of happy memories, you know. He's been with me right from the beginning since my gym was my garage. And we started there and then it grew bigger and bigger and to, to where we are today. And but he's my friend. I'm speechless. Being a last fight, gives pinball time, right? It's going to be incredible. It's going to be very emotional. Uh, but he's there to do a job and he'll, he'll see it through. I've always been proud of Brad from when he started in the tiniest show. What an amazing story for someone that's worked so hard. I know I'm going to be in bits, seeing him come out for the last time. After everything he's achieved, I just know he can be nothing but proud. I can't imagine how proud Mum and Dad would be now. Certainly no more prouder than I am. What he's achieved has been incredible. I'm just so happy. I'm so proud that that's our family. And I'm so proud that one of us has achieved something so special.